Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maximum Window Hot Tips. My name is James Common and I'm the Maximum Window Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre of Design Technology. Today I'll be having a look at the Pack and Go feature. Now the pack and go feature is inside Maxwell Render for cases where you need to transfer a file to an entirely different computer. And it's specifically for cases where the destination will not have the same textures that are included in the scene. For example, if I just saved this scene now and copied it on a memory stick or emailed it or whatever to another computer and opened it up, the HDRI environment that I've used to illuminate the scene and all of the textures on this product would not be copied over because Maxwell Render only references them, it doesn't embed them. If I want to guarantee that this environment and all the textures will go with the file, instead of the save feature or the save as feature, I need to go to file and pack and go. And this is the dialog box that will come up. It will ask you for a folder to export all the scene data to. I can choose my folder. And here are the resulting files that you get. Not only is it the Maxwell scene file, but it's also all of the textures used in the model. And also in this case, the HDR used for the environment. In the case of this scene, all of the materials that I have here are embedded in the scene. However, if I had referenced materials instead, they would also be exported to this folder. Using the pack and go feature in complicated scenes guarantees that wherever you take the pack and go folder, you will have all of your textures with you. And that's your hot tip for today. Any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, or email me at maxwellandthebrightoncdt at gmail.com, or tweet me at jcommon underscore design. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon.